What's up, everybody? This is Frank the Tank from the Podheads Web Show here on a very special edition of Sessions with the Podheads. I've got uh, for Mother's Day, a very special Mother's Day edition, folks. My mom, Margie, right here, Margarita. Uh, everybody, show some love for my mom. Happy Mother's Day, mom. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So uh, you're welcome. I, you know, it's funny because uh, I've been doing this for a few years now, and we've always uh, talked about getting our parents on, but I never have. And I thought Mother's Day would be the perfect occasion. Um, and the reason why I wanted to interview my mom for Mother's Day, mom, was because, you know, as kids, you think you know your parents. Um, you know, I, I think I could guess how you would react to certain things or what kind of food you like, what you don't. But in like real, real know your parents, their their aspirations, what they what they uh, love and hate about the world. You know, you never really stop and ask. So I wanted to do this interview with you and uh, and ask you the Proust questionnaire. Marcel Proust or Proust. This was a uh, French novelist who uh, used to. Um, play a parlor game that believed that answering these questions could uh, reveal an individual's true nature. So I figured, let me get to know my mom a little bit here on Mother's Day. Okay. Right. Okay. So uh, I don't want to reveal, I don't want put to your, put you on blast or your age like that, but you were born in the 50s, right? So m mom has been around for a little bit, late 50s, very late 50s. More grew up in the 60s. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so grew up through the 60s yeah, and right. 70s and everything in between. So you've seen some things, right? Um, and so I'm going to just jump right into this. Okay. First question I want to ask you, this has nothing to do with the questionnaire. Okay. Uh, <laughs> personal questions about me. First of all, as a child, what was, okay, let me ask you this. What was your favorite age of mine? Okay. And your least favorite age. So like, at what age was I like the best, easiest, I don't know, maybe like cutest or, and then what was like the worst? Because for me personally, I have an age, like around eight is when I hated my kids. I just, at eight years old is when they all just became whiny little bitches up until about 10. Okay. So, no, you weren't good until you went to middle school. Ah, middle school, middle yeah. Middle school with Sarah. <laughs> yeah, so I drove you nuts in middle school. I remember you had to come into class with me once, uh, once or twice, yeah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> but that was it, not in high school in the beginning. Yeah, I think I, I got pretty good around what junior year. Stop messing around, like matured all of a sudden. Middle sophomore, middle of the sophomore. There we go. Okay, cool. All right, so we're good. Uh, so here we go. Then the Prowse questionnaire. It's thirty-five questions, I believe, but we're gonna just bust through them. Just uh, you know, you don't have to. Um, you don't have to uh, sit, talk about anything you don't want to, but they're pretty straightforward. You ready? Okay. All right, here we go. We're going to get to know my mom, Frank the Tank's mom, here from the Potter's Web Show. First question, what is your idea of perfect happiness? If you had to sum it up. Woof. I don't think it's, there's no, I really don't think there's anything such as perfect happiness. Because you go through life, you have your ups and downs, and I don't think anything's really perfect. I mean, perfect life, you have your home all paid up, you have no worries, no bills, and you can live a comfortable life. There you go. Okay, so uh, comfort, financial freedom, not being stressed about bills, right? Uh -huh. Nice, okay. Here's a good one. What is your greatest fear? Losing one of my kids. Losing one of your kids, okay. Uh, what is a trait you most deplore in yourself? So is there one trait about yourself that you wish you could change that you just can't stand by yourself? That I can't stand by myself? I like myself. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything, maybe not you can't stand, but is there anything that you wish you could change maybe that has maybe set your back or uh, I don't know, a weak point in yourself? Uh, And how I sometimes don't stand up for myself when okay. I don't right. Sometimes I give in when I know uh, I'm good. I think a lot of people can relate to that. You mm -hmm. know, I think so. Okay, that's a good one. Um, okay, so what is a trait that you most deplore in others? What can't you stand about other people? There's a lot of things. <laughs> or more so, what you just can't take. One of the main things I don't like is people who 
are holy thou, that they go to church and they talk about God and they think they're a great Christian and everything, but then the moment they walk out that church, they're swearing, treating people like crap and doing the total opposite of what they preached. Hypocrites, yes, yeah. That those- drove me away from religion, yeah, mm-hmm. crazy. Okay, that's good. Um, how about this one? Uh, which living person do you most admire? So if you've got an inspiration living out there. Person. Yeah. Unfortunately, little Richard just passed. He just missed the boat, so <laughs> can't pick him. <laughs> Rest in peace, little Richard. Uh, most living person. Well, the person I admire the most is gone now. Okay. But it's got to be living, though. Somebody on earth. You know, I I admire and respect my boss. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, because, I mean, she's she's been good, good to me. She's always been there for me. And... She's always she's always been true to me, and, when, and whenever I was down, she was good, she's good, and she's been good Christian, and she's not one of those phonies. So, so I respect her because I she's not ashamed to say where she came from, and the struggles she did to achieve what she has achieved, and I admire that, and respect that a lot. Oh wow, okay, nice. It's refreshing to hear somebody t- t- spoken about that's not a celebrity. You know, I expected I don't know <laughs> a Michelle Obama maybe. <laughs> that's cool. All right. Um, what is your greatest extravagance? Like, what have you splurged the most on? Not caring about frugality or anything like that. What I splurged? Yeah, your your greatest oh. extravagance. My vacations. Oh, okay. You like to go all out on vacations. Sure. I'm determined. I take one every year. If I have the money, I have it. If I don't, I'm going to get it. <laughs> there you go. You have I to. Life is about experiencing things, right? Not just having yeah. possessions. Yeah. It's like I couldn't do it when I was younger. So now I'm old. It's time for me. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Uh, what is out of the places you've gone uh, you've been to a few places that I know this is a mm-hmm. side note What is like your favorite place that you've been to or where haven't you gone that you really want to go to Greece Greece you've been to Greece and you loved Greece. That was your most I favorite. I like Greece I like the islands and I want to go back to take Jose, Jose to take dad. Oh, okay, cool. All right. I think he'll like it too. Yes I, I definitely want to go one day to just oh, the history. Yeah. It's beautiful. Is- All the islands are beautiful. Nice um, okay, so here, what is your current state of mind? What's going on in the back of that head right now on a daily basis? I want to retire. Yeah, retirement? <laughs> ready to call it quits? I'm ready to call it quits and this COVID <laughs> virus pushed me back. <laughs> Jesus, yeah, it's a lot of people back, damn. Um, what do you consider the most overrated virtue? Something that people are like, oh my God, I admire that person for that. And you're like, please, anybody can do that. Uh Really? I have no idea. <laughs> Maybe uh, good looks. I don't know. It comes naturally. Uh, <laughs> virtue. What's a virtue? Exaggerate right? of other people. You know, oh, I want, I want to be just like him or her. I want to, you know, uh, and I don't think it's more nurturing. I think it's more envious. Mm. A lot of people are envious of other people. Uh, because they have money or they have nice cars or they have, you know, they have, but yet, you know, they work hard for to get that. And if you work hard, you could have it too. And, and some of those people you see out there, they may have money. They have, may have all the luxuries, but they're really unhappy people. That's true. We talk about on the show all the time about celebrities, millionaires who off themselves. And it's like, oh, damn, oh, yes. it appears like they have everything you could ever want, but clearly mm-hmm. not happy. Yeah. Okay, here's one. On what occasion do you think it's acceptable to lie? Like, when do you lie? <laughs> <laughs> uh, when it's gonna. <laughs> <laughs> you, you always could tell a little white lie. Okay. But if it's something really that it, you know, if you tell that person and it's going to devastate them um, and they might do something stupid, hurt somebody, whatever, then I will lie there. 
Okay. Protect someone's feelings. Sure. Yeah. But protect that person, protect someone else. Sure, sure. Get it hurt. Okay. All right. It has uh, to be something really, really, really bad. Gotcha. Okay. It's got to be worth it. You're not just going to lie willy nilly for every little yes. thing. Sure. Okay. I get you. Uh, okay. Here's one. Uh, what do you most dislike about your own appearance? She could change my weight. your weight. <laughs> I think most women will say that. <laughs> my weight. Um... Okay. Um, let me see here. Okay. Which living person do you most despise? Trump. <laughs> I knew it. I knew you were gonna say that one. Hell yeah. I agree with you there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What is the quality you most like in a man? He has to be a good person. Good person. To respect what I do. Um and not be a sh a, sh a lot of men they have this macho thing that they have to make more money than the woman. And, or the woman's place, you know, to cook, clean, no matter what they were, they, they have to be my equal. And that's like your dad. He's my equal. Yeah. You know, we both do things together in the house. He does more, but <laughs> <laughs> most of all, respect me, respect what I do, and, and be my partner. For sure. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Okay. What is it? What is the quality you most like in a woman? And obviously, it doesn't have to be like a partner, but a friend. Strong woman. Strong woman. You don't like a woman that's crying yeah. about everything. Yeah, that complains about everything, don't do nothing, or depends on a man. Sure, to sure. Do for them. Um, you know, your grandmother was a strong woman. She raised eight kids. Hmm. Your grandfather just went to work, came home, he didn't do nothing else. You know, and your grandmother did it. When he passed away, she continued doing it. Yeah, so three men. You know, and, and our family, you know, one thing grandma always disliked and what I dislike is a whiny woman. <laughs> they yeah. whine about everything. They don't get their way. They whine about it. No, I don't want something and he doesn't want to give it to me. I'm going to go do it myself. <laughs> exactly. So yeah. I hate weak women. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I think you raised us like that for the most part. Uh, uh -huh. not, to, not to whine and complain. Um, all right, here we go. Which words or phrases do you most overuse? <laughs> I'm gonna kick your ass. <laughs> oh, I, I do that lately with your sister and brother lately. <laughs> but, um, oh, no, overuse. Uh, you know, me and your dad, where we say, oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what we overuse. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, please. Uh, okay, here we go. Uh, what, what or who is the greatest love of your life? What or who is the greatest love of my life? Your father doesn't listen to your show, right? Because <laughs> <laughs> he'll never let me live it up. It would be my kids and my husband. Awesome. Yeah, I'd say so. Sure. Uh, okay. When and where do you remember being at your happiest? Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> it makes you deep. It's a deep thinking thing. I, told you. <laughs> you know, I don't know if I should say this or not. <laughs> Keep it real. That's all good. What happened when I left your your biological father? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll take it. All right. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Uh, so it was just refreshing to feel like that was behind you. Like it was free. Like... I felt free. Yeah. And, and enjoyed life. And, and now I'm like, okay, all my kids they graduate, so they're out of the house. I was only. Well, still got them coming back, but <laughs> I feel, you know, I, now I have, I could do for me and, and me and Jose, we just try to do everything for us. We always put ourselves first now. Nice. Before yeah. it was always all of you guys. Now we have time to put us. Yeah, so that's good. All you guys 
when most of you guys grew up. I still got your <laughs> sister and your brother out, but they're already adults, so I don't have to worry so much. Yeah, we'll get them going soon. <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. Um, which talent would you like uh, most to have? So something you can't do that you wish you could. Something I can't do. I think sing. Sing it? Oh, wow. Okay. I'm thinking I like to sing. Nice. All right. Uh, how about this one? If you could change one thing about yourself, what would it be? I don't think I would change. I mean, I'm happy with me. I mean, I, 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 I want to lose some weight and everything, but I'm happy with who I am. Good. Nice. Good. Hell yeah. I like that answer. Uh, okay. What do you consider your greatest achievement? I think great take. Well, there's a, there's some downfalls and, and some good, but my greatest achievement, I think, is raising you guys. You and Desi. Oh, and thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you and Desi, that you both are heading to. I, I mean, my work. My downfall was letting. Marcus and Aaron go with their father and not having them, but you and Desi, I mean, you're both look at you now. You got a house, you got <laughs> a career, you got a good job. I really never had to help you after you left the house. And Desi is in college and she's doing good and she has a pet straight. And you know, that's awesome. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, I think uh, you did do a hell of a job, all things considered. You know, uh, had to pretty much restart your life. You know, uh, when when I was a baby. You know what I mean? So that's not. Uh, it's never easy for anyone. Shout out to single moms out there everywhere uh, and stepdads too, because my dad's awesome. Uh, okay, here's another one. Um, Okay, if you were to die and come back as a person or a thing, what would it be? So if you were, if there was reincarnation, what would you want to come back as? Ooh. I know it won't be an animal, but I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> what would I be if I was? I think I would probably like to become, come back as, as a woman again. Yeah, famous singer like Beyonce or somebody. Not Beyonce. <laughs> Ross. I'm looking at more like Barbara Streisand, Dionne Warwick. All right, <laughs> that's cool. Okay. Uh, all right. Where would you most like to live? You could pick anywhere in the world. Where would you want to live? Well, for retirement, I want to go to Puerto Rico. Okay. Uh, it's peaceful. When I'm there, I, I feel really good and peaceful. Right, like home, like the motherland. Yeah. Even though I'm from New York, I won't go back there. Nah, <laughs> that's not where you want to go to be in peace, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> what is your most treasured possession? I have my most treasured possession. I had a cookbook that used to be your grandmother's. Oh, it's wow. torn apart, so I haven't put it away. So I have that that... I took when she passed away and some coins that she left. Oh, nice. That I keep. That's interesting, the cookbook, because, you know, there's something to be said about uh, something to be said about food and nostalgia. You know, uh, people always talk about, oh, I miss my grandma's cooking or my mom's cooking when they pass. So to have a cookbook to be able to replicate some of those dishes, that's got to be something. Take well, it back. Yeah, that cookbook is when your grandmother came to new york she didn't cook so she got really? the, she brought this cookbook and matter of fact i went online to check the cookbook and the cookbook right now that particular book is worth three hundred dollars holy crap wow holy like, crap. wow this is <laughs> it's like and, a and they still have and they don't have a recent version but they continue to do the book was purchased and 1955. Wow. Was grandma born in Puerto Rico? Yep. So when she grew up in Puerto Rico, never 
being raised to learn how to cook and take care of a man, per se? Oh, yeah, she did, but grandma my grandmother did most of it and when they became teenagers since grandma had eight kids also and mom was one of the oldest the three oldest had to work wow because my grandfather died so they had to work to help around so mommy mommy got only went to i don't even think she went to high school she was one of the oldest so she had a so grandma taught her how to cook, but she learned more from her book. Look at that. And she did great. Grandma was awesome. Oh, yeah. Grandma great, yeah. Did. Look at that. Uh, okay. What do you regard as the lowest, not necessarily for you, but for anybody, what would you regard as the lowest <laughs> depth of misery? Like, how bad can it be? Being jobless and broke, being having no friends. I mean, it'd be different for anybody. <laughs> I think of uh, the lowest a person could get. I mean, everybody's situation is different, but when they start thinking about taking their life, mm. I don't think I, I have no respect for anybody who tries to take their life. Sure, yeah. there is their job to do that. So I think somebody reaches to that point. That's the lowest they could get. Sure, I get you. I think I'd agree with that. You got to be pretty down in the depths. It's hard for me to uh, to to even think about um, where a person has to be to actually go through with it. Yeah, yeah. It's, that's tough. Um, okay, what is your favorite occupation? Oh, I like what I do. Doing uh, like digital media and art, yeah. graphic design. Nice. Yeah, it is pretty cool. Everything's going that way. Um, what is your most marked, uh, your most marked characteristic? I don't know. Something about when they talk about Margie, they everybody knows that they're talking about Margie when they talk about this kind of, you know what I mean? I don't know. At work, they always say it because when they talk about me, is it how humble I am? I don't think I'm humble. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, I don't think you're cocky, but I don't, I don't know if you're humble per se, like, <laughs> no, and, and I'm dependable. But you're a hard worker. I was going to say you're a hard worker. I think that's what it is. Sure. That people know that, you know, when there's something that needs to get done, you get it done and you don't go patting yourself, kissing your eyes, ask about it. You know, you just, hey, it's done. Here we go. You know, but I, I could separate personal and professional compartmentalize that's a big thing that i've just recently learned about um i never even knew what that meant until maybe two three years ago and how important that is in a professional career you know leaving yeah. your drama at home essentially you know mm -hmm. uh that's a big one wow um okay uh what do you most value in your friends honesty honesty to be honest i mean if you're my friend you should be able to tell me anything if you don't like sure right if you respect me enough you should be able to tell me the truth yeah i'm the same way even if i'm acting like an asshole i'd prefer you to tell me rather than just let me run around looking like an asshole yeah. yep absolutely um okay um who are your favorite do you have a favorite writer oh, james patterson james patterson <laughs> nice all right cool um favorite fictional hero on the movies tv fictional heroes and tv yeah. they don't have to be a superhero i mean maybe there's somebody on one of your novellas you like <laughs> i don't know well i haven't watched a novella but, uh, lately but i yeah, I've been watching. Desi got me hooked on that Grey's Anatomy. I uh -huh. never watched it, so I've been watching it from season one. I haven't gotten to current season, but one of the nerd, one of the doctors there, my uh, Meredith, <laughs> she me so much hell, and she still, she's still not, going. She, she still keeps on going. That's funny. <laughs> Like Meredith from, uh, what was it, Grey's Anatomy. I guarantee there's tons of women out there that agree with you right now. Uh, well, sometimes I want to slap her, but. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. 
Um, all right, so here, here's this one. Um, who are who is one of your real life heroes? Oh, my mom. Your mom, nice. Hell yeah. A good example to follow for sure. Um, okay, what are your favorite names? I know one of them for sure is Desiree. One of your favorite names of all time. <laughs> Any other favorite names? My favorite names. Someone I have. Megan was one of them. Megan? Wow. Yeah. And, and, and what was the name? And Damien. And Damien. I would have never guessed that. Wow. Megan and Damien. Wow. <laughs> I was going to name one of you guys, Dave, your brother Damien, but your father didn't let me. Oh, wow. At that time, the movie Orman was. <laughs> <laughs> the 666 on his. <laughs> That's funny. No way. <laughs> but I always like that name. <laughs> ah, shit. Okay, cool. So you got one, though. You got one of your favorite names uh, in My Little Sister and Desi, right? Uh, oh, Desi. Yeah. supposed to be your name. <laughs> yeah, I know. So I was supposed to be a girl, by the way, folks. And then somehow at the last minute I grew a penis. Uh, but <laughs> uh, what, is, what is your greatest regret? Do you have any regrets in life at this time? Good. That's no, good. Because I think if I would regret anything, I wouldn't have what I have now. Would you go back and do any? It would, let me rephrase this. If there's anything that you could have gone back and changed, an action that you did or something that you said to somebody that you wish you could have gone back and changed, or maybe something you didn't say that you wish you could have? If I could have changed things but have the life I have now, the only thing I would have changed, I would have never let Marcus and Aaron stay with their father. You're yeah, taking all your kids with you. I would have kept them with me. Sure, I get you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. Last two. Here we go. If you could pick, if you could choose it, how would you like to die? Well, I want to cremate. I want to be cremated and spread in the ocean. Okay. So that's good. So that's good to know. I want to be cremated as well. But if you, but how would you like to actually kick the bucket? Would it be just sleeping in your bed? <laughs> Just, just go in peace. And go in peace. I don't want to feel no pain. Yeah, oh, I definitely hear you on that. And last one, do you have a motto? If you have a motto that you live your life by, what is it? I just take each day. Live each day as it comes because you don't know if it's going to be your last. Nice. I like it. I've learned that with all the tragedy that's happened with us in the last five years yeah wow. we've been through hell and back but that's it just take each day live it and enjoy it and control your control my temper not to fly off the head or anything <laughs> yeah just accept things that's all you can do right now not, not drive yourself nuts about the shit you can't change yep awesome well mom that was the last question i thank you so much that was an awesome <laughs> interview i hope that we can go back uh, one day in the future and look at these and, and maybe, you know, have some insight. Maybe things change. Maybe the answers don't. Uh -huh. But again, happy Mother's Day. Ask those questions to your dad on Father's Day. Yes, I plan on it. I plan on it. Tell him to be ready. <laughs> uh -huh. But again, happy Mother's Day. Thank you very much. I love you very love much. You. Mwah. All right. Mwah.